right. for one of Kuma's last training videos and sessions. Before she goes back on Sunday, it is just some, uh, some more just reconditioning of the tone training. And then later on today, we'll also be doing just the, the leash work with her. She's been doing really good. Good girl. Start off, start off on the crack side there. I still have the collar on me, so that way, good girl, good catch up. So that way uh, it doesn't startle her as much and we want to try to keep that effect intact as much as possible for when, um, for when she does return home and we need impact for counter surfing. Using the, uh, the chest camera just so that way we can still record something but it won't and not take up any hands. Um, it just might not be as easy to see her the whole time. But we'll try to try to uh, arrange and situate ourselves so that can be easier. Puma, come. There you go, good girl. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Good girl. So just trying to get her to relocate herself back to the heel position as opposed to constantly forcing her. Good girl, Kuma. Good job. And every few steps when she's still there will reinforce. Girl. Do I have to apologize? Uh, the nice weather, I guess, has brought back uh, pollen and allergies. So a little bit stuffed up uh, because of the allergies and then a little bit drowsy because of the medication. You know, wait for this car to go by. Correcting her with leash pressure to the correct side again. Good girl. It's a little bit difficult too right now because the way that she's looking up at me for attention is also up towards the light. You. Somebody didn't pick up. Good girl. Good beauty. I was a little worried sometimes when um, she had used um, Cosmo's potty pads once, but he was kind of teaching her bad habits, but she hasn't done that since. And a lot of it was just kind of redirecting her. She's pretty good about going potty outside consistently. Here, just kind of using the leash pressure to keep her from going behind me and to the right. The next time that she drifts off too far forwards or backwards, we'll practice the recall. Good girl. Yeah, good job. Trying to keep the leash as loose as possible, too. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Okay. So a little bit of distance. Using the tone to get her back in and then rewarding. It's good to condition this response indoors too, right? As there are less distractions and it's easier to kind of have the lesson repeat and sink in through habits. But 
it's also really good and sometimes even better to actually do it in the real world while you're having her work through all of the distractions going on. Good girl. Alright, so there she just responded to a little bit of leash pressure instead of going in the grass. Got a pup coming up too. So she's going to be distracted by them. I'll let her hang back a little bit. Good girl. Puma. You know? Yes. Good girl. Very good. Good job. Yes. Very good. Put the other pup up there. pressure to keep her from going back into the right. Good girl. Yeah, she's doing a good job of checking in. I want to really save the treats at this point to reward her for recalling or if she does it through um, a large distraction or when prompted. But still want to keep up for sure when she does it on her own. And at least mark that behavior. Good girl. Alright. So now she's going back into the right a little bit. There we go. Call to have her catch up now. Good girl. Thank you. Good job. Trying to do it sparingly, even though we're out here to do it for practice. Right? Really shooting for quality over quantity right now when it comes to uh, when it comes to her training right? instead of just constantly uh, doing easy reps doing good girl wait good job doing less reps while uh, I the bulldog you see a bulldog I know it's a cool looking guy come on good girl Good. So she did well there. Good girl. Good slow. Mm -hmm. Might have been able to use the other hand for a camera the way that she's doing really good so far. It's getting a little bit in up front. Good girl, but she's adjusting and correcting herself. Good. I want her to walk with me. I'll take me in the treat. Good. There you go.
good girl. So in these instances, right, I want her to see that I had the treat right here. So she doesn't have to. There you go. Good girl. Very retractable. He's got a little bit in the ways there. go first. Good girl. She slowed down and came back. Good. I was going to practice leave it, but I accidentally dropped the, uh, the treat and distracted her. Oh, now she's back on the other side, too. I'm going to try to get her to, to recall and situate herself back onto the proper side here. Kuma, come. 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 Good girl. Good job. She's going to leash to correct her from going back into the right again. Girl. Turn the camera and set up a little bit more this way. Hopefully you guys can even see her. There we go. Okay. Good girl. Having a, a wall on one side that you're walking against when first starting can really help. That way now you're just worried about forward and back. You have your, your leg to block the other way. Good girl. She's using more treats to check in for her continuing to, to heal and give focus just because I have as many opportunities for the recall practice. Hopefully we will soon. Good girl. Good. Good, there you go, good job. gentleman and his kid coming up. Good girl. getting harder and harder to, uh, to showcase what we're actually be training because she's doing so well with other things. I need to match this back down. Good girl, come on. Wanted to get ran over. Got a car coming. Girl, yes, good job. So that was good, kind of like our social practice sessions, right? She's seeing somebody 
instead of going and running up to him right away, just redirecting her focus and sitting down in front of us or beside us. Good girl. The leash has been unlocked pretty much this whole time, except for any temporary presses. Yes, good girl. And good. Trying to get her facing the right way too for the reward. Everybody picks up. Good girl. She's <laughs> doing a really good job of kind of catching herself right before I have to recall her back in. Just kind of inadvertently get excited or follow her nose and speed up a little bit, but then she just drops herself back on her own, which is really good. Especially considering that, you know, all we've done is just positive tone training and not like negatively um, correcting her for when she goes out of the box. All right, good girl. Kuma. Good girl, there you go. Had to give her a little bit of help there again. A lot of times with smarter pups, it's just more about um, getting enough practice in that things become routine, right? She understands concepts quite quickly, right? But it's just more so of getting her to do things without thinking at all, right? Just getting used to being on the left side, getting used to refocusing. Good girl, sorry. Hopefully we'll get some more recall practicing about halfway through. It's actually a really nice day out. So just trying to get in as many sessions and rotations with the pups as possible. Good girl. Good girl, good weight, thank you. All right, so like moments like that where she gets excited and goes up the stairs real quick, but actually, comes back and waits for me, it's really good. Good girl. distracted by her nose as well as being tired from the allergies and also it's good because most most people walk slower than I do 
in real life, so trying to get her used to, you know, at a much slower pace. Good girl. Good girl. You know. So let's see, even like moments like that when she she veers off to go and investigate something, but then comes right back into the same spot and redirects her focus. That's good. So I think she's doing really well with everything. She's definitely getting to that point now where as opposed to luring her or giving her a command and then rewarding her to execute, we're actually just kind of giving her treats for doing the right thing periodically now. And she's doing most of the work herself. Hi, how you doing? Hey, girl. All right, it's the same thing there. She hasn't barked at anybody, too. Which is good, but didn't have that problem to begin with so much. I think maybe once in the evening. All right, when it was dark out, somebody came around the corner and startled her. Had a little bit of barking. Um, but other than that, just while we're out in public and walking around, she's been really, really good. I have for now. Hey, girl. Gonna have to take off some of these uh, layers as we go. It's actually getting pretty warm out. It was really cold this morning. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Would you like a treat? Just got a couple, or I got a pup coming up. So that might be a good distraction to work her through. Good girl. You see they're going that way. She's still focused, to be honest. Good girl. Yeah, she definitely sees them. She's doing a great job of just remaining calm and composed. You can also start using the, um, the tone every time I correct her to come back to the left as opposed to uh, just the leash pressure, right? Getting her to build that association with it. 
she's not doing it as often as she usually does, though, so that's always a good sign as well. Hi, good morning. Good girl. So here she's getting distracted and switching to the back. Good girl. So helping her out a little bit there with the leash. And then just signaling again with the tone to keep her attention. Oh, yeah, this weather is insane today. It's really beautiful out at least. But now it's definitely starting to to warm up and it was like sweater cold this morning. Some crazy fluctuations, but we're just very thankful that it's not raining. At least not right now. I'll have to check the forecast for later today and tomorrow. It wouldn't be too bad if like it was raining during her her drop off because there's some behaviors that we'll want to practice inside anyways. Good girl. Morning. Oh, she's very good. Good girl. Let's go. Ready? Hopefully later too, there'll be more pups and distractions out. Right now it's kind of mid-morning and everybody's at, um, so either sleeping in, or I was gonna say at work, but I just remember that it's uh, Saturday, I think it's Saturday. The whole schedule is all whacked out. Yeah, it is Saturday. Uh, surprise there aren't more people out and about with Especially with kids and stuff playing, but maybe they're all sleeping in. Good girl, you catch up. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> I'll go ahead and, uh, and cut the video here. And give her a break and rotate out with her little brother. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, good girl. <laughs> yeah. Hi, girl. Hi. Can you sit? Oh, Very good wow. girl. Wow, she's doing great. Girl. No. Uh, oh, use that. Use that. Okay. <laughs> a, little, a little delayed, but okay. This one. The top one. <laughs> no, the, the spray. Oh, that. <laughs> you could also use that too, but there you go. It's okay. <laughs> so you can see like right away the difference with mom, right? Yeah. So you really want to anticipate and be ready to, to correct. Good girl. Good yes, girl, there you go. you're doing so great. Yes, there you go. Yeah. And then while you, while she's still down and um, and everything, you can go ahead and reward her with treats yeah, too while you're petting. Uh -uh. There we go, good, good, good correction. Ah. There you go, good. Try to really reinforce that as best you can. And it's kind of painful, but what I'll do instead of like bending over is just get down to her level. Good, there oh, you go. Well, if I do that, then I can't get back up. Yeah. <laughs> but that also has helped me with keeping her from popping back up for the attention too, because she'll kind of tuck in, right? Um, with Zagel, we, we got it to the point where he could like tuck in and lay down too. Okay. 
which is going to be like the most preferable because he's definitely not jumping up from that position right. whereas from like even a normal sit it's pretty easy for them to pop back up um, so the main thing you just want to look for is how excited she is right if she's looking a little bit more calm and stable she's going to be less likely to jump if she's looking really energetic and wiggly then you might then just be ready to correct ready to correct her but it's good to see that she didn't really need that many, right? right? Just maybe a couple and then your your not -ah sound is good. So you have the timing down right. So it's like as soon as she starts to pop up and you say that is when you would also do something too. Just because right now the the verbal command isn't isn't enough of a correction, right? You just Sit. Sit. Good, there good we go. Girl. Yeah, she's about to good lean good over again. Good girl. Yeah. Do you remember Andrew? We only had Kuma, what, three days before you had to go back to school? Yeah. Oh. Might also explain why she was so uh, so calm still when meeting him. Yeah. Out yeah, of the bunch. she only knew him for a couple of days. And it was a little chaotic in her new house after <laughs> being in the rescue, so. Yeah. A good way to continue practicing this would be to have, you know, either your kids and your husband or whoever is at home with her when you're when you're leaving. Just notify them when you come back okay. in, right? Okay. Or when you're about to come in. So that way they can get everything ready with her. Okay. Um, and then when she does greet you, you'll be good to go as opposed to you coming in, she's being all excited and you're looking around right. for, for something to correct her with or whatnot, right? So having it either maybe right by the door or um, having whoever's home can set it outside for you, right? Okay. So that way you're, re you're ready and good to go. Uh, with the caller, of course, you can do that remotely from, you know, from further down the hallway or the living room or whatever, which is good. Um, that gives you the convenience, kind of like with the counter surfing of space, right? You don't have to be right there. Whereas with the pet corrector, you want whoever she's and reading to be right is. there. And that's actually a pet corrector? Oh, you just buy that It's in. just what it's called, yeah. Oh. It's just compressed air though. Oh, okay. Huh. But Girl. whoever will have that needs to actually be close and the one that she's hopefully usually interacting with. And then also having treats so that way when she does stay calm and composed um, or if she's approaching someone too quickly, you can have them ask her to sit for a treat and okay. that'll help as well. All right. Girl, you're doing great. <laughs> yeah, we'll break you home tomorrow. <laughs> I think she'll be ready to go. We'll yeah. just have to coordinate um, the time to drop off and we'll do a, a quick recap for the the leave it okay and the are, counter you, are we picking her up here or you're bringing her to the house either way just it might be better if i just dropped her off since we, we're gonna have to oh, um, so meet cosmo. up for the counter surfing anyways okay okay and i can just bring cosmo too so you can play and stuff okay good yeah. girl very sit. good sit good, good girl good timing Good you can girl. see she's starting to at least control herself now right. when she's jumping, which is what we're we we're trying to shoot for, right? Instead of we uh, her jumping up and we telling her no off and pushing her down and ignoring her and all those things, we're getting it to that point where she's trying to have self-control. Okay. So that's good that she did that, and you just want to acknowledge it too. Good girl. Good girl. She's doing great. Yeah. <laughs> now she's on your left. I know. Good That's job. That's okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I was watching the videos. It doesn't matter to me what side she walks on. Oh, it might have been it, somebody else. It says it's just um, hard when I've got two dogs going in two different directions. Gotcha. We'll, we'll practice how to Especially when one of them on the wouldn't walk. move on the leash. It makes it even harder. <laughs> yeah, it but should, now that they're both moving on the leash. It should go a lot more smoothly yeah, for you guys. Yeah, I'm, I really want to get one of those things where there's you can walk one leash walk two dogs i don't know how easy that is but i'll, I'll I mean, show you one make it look easy i'll show you one at the pet store that i would recommend okay um i have a splitter too but usually they're going to be too short because oh. she still outpaces cosmo by quite a bit oh okay. right so she'd end up kind of just like dragging him along okay more. well then we won't we'll wait we'll, um, we'll, we'll wait on that yeah. until they're both more mature and the good one um cosmo's more <laughs> full grown the good one that I was thinking of is actually uh, one, um, one freedom leash, but it splits off into two. Oh. And it has separate button locking buttons for each one. Oh. So that could be really good okay. too. You just have to be really mindful because now instead of the hazard of 
wrapping up one dog or right. whatnot, you, you got two. Yeah. Uh, so it kind of really depends on um, how crowded you are in the neighborhood. You could always lock the um, one of them as well, so you can lock her length to like a normal leash length uh -huh. and keep his long Okay. and go in and out. So that could be a good option for you, so that way it's still just one hand. Okay. And I'll, I'll point it out next time we're at the, the pet okay. store. Cool. All right. Well, that hey. went well. Yeah. I'll let you guys hang out with her. I'll go grab uh, okay. Cosmo and then we'll do a little bit of a walk. Okay. <laughs> try to take a Sit. try to take a treat and use the hand gesture for him as well. That way he can. He gave Sit. him the pouch because he's not going to be able to stay for the walk. Sit. He's got to get to a game. Got gotcha, you. There you go. Good. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Cool. Do you have any yeah. questions? <laughs> no, <laughs> we didn't really like get to go too, too much. <laughs> Never met this dog. <laughs> well, we'll come back during the week because he doesn't start working until the fifteenth. So we'll come back and visit again. Yeah, okay. That's okay. Yeah, whenever it's good for you guys. Yeah. Boy. Hey, Cosmo. So I'll let you take Mr. Cosmo. Yeah. Now, the thing you want to just remember is um, just press it down yep. to temporarily lock it. And especially when you have them on the Freedom Leash, be very mindful of the environment, cars coming in, things like Can that. He's pretty good you? about sticking close anyways, but um, giving him treats periodically when he's hanging out and catching up to you or when you recall him to his name um, is really helpful. Oh, yeah. But um, most of the time he should just be moving freely now. If you do need a little bit of like push to help him, first try to do it with a verbal recall and then try to do it with as minimal leash pressure as possible. Okay. Cool. All right. You hear that, Andrew? Cause I gotta go. Yeah, Michael's gotta go. I did. Oh. I missed you, yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we'll record the walk for him. Okay. Go ahead and get him. <laughs> she was like, me too. Yeah. She's like, me too. Hey, Cosmo. All right, Michael, be careful while you're driving out. I will. All right. All right, let's 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 walk this way so he can pull out. Oh, uh, it's going to be difficult. Come on, big guy. Good boy. Good job. Good girl. Good girl. Good. Good, there you go. <laughs> you gotta get you. Gotta, yeah, I gotta get used to it. It's okay. At least she's responding now more yeah. to your verbal commands too. <laughs> Good girl. Come on, girl. All right. So I'll just try to go. He's doing great on the leash. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a. a there you go. There you go. Good. Yeah, you should hardly ever need to actually um, use the leash with him. He's pretty good about catching up. Okay. If he does, kind of hey, get the straight to my leg. <laughs> That's perfect. If he, um, good, girl. good girl. If he, like, kind of lags behind because he's checking out stuff, I usually just let him, and then when he's done, he'll just catch up. Or if you're in a hurry, you can, like I said, recall him verbally first before leash pressure. Yeah. Unfortunately, it happens pretty often yeah, around here. <laughs> so if you want to grab a couple treats from him, I'll hold the remote for you. Okay. Um, and kind of get her used to walking next to you and then giving her a treat. So she Can should... I use this one instead if I want her to walk next to me or... Whatever's more comfortable for you. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. So getting used to her being next to you and then getting a reward while you're walking. Okay. There you go. Okay. Ah. Good. There you go. Okay. Good. She's not taking my fingers off too now. So that's good. <laughs> She'll be a Come on. She smells the treats on us. Uh-huh. So if I'm gonna give her the treats on the side like that, I probably need to hold the leash on this hand, right? <laughs> Whatever is easier for you, I can show you yeah, how I usually do it. 
I'm gonna have to get used to it. No, good girl. And that's also another reason why I like to keep the treats low, okay. right? Yeah, so that way, mm -hmm, because if you're if carrying it up high, it's almost enticing her to jump up for it, right? Come on, come on. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Good okay, job. Let's try walking. Come on. Good. There you go now. Oh. Come on, Puma. There you go Girl. now. Good. Well, I'm trying to get her to go on the right side. That's <laughs> why I moved the thing. So. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Good. There you go. So now that she's kind of just checking in, um, you, you can just at least acknowledge it and then every now and then you can give her a treat okay. but once she kind of gets into that mode of heel following you could usually keep it pretty easily no, no, no. <laughs> you can usually keep it pretty easily so long as you're um you're acknowledging her okay. but as soon as you stop for too long she'll start to check out back out and okay. like more like a freedom walk again <laughs> come on girl Good girl, there you go. How's it guy? He's doing great. Yeah, he's he's I was just about to pass you here too. Good boy. Now when she's done, do you give me a certificate or something that says she's done so I can give it to the rescue because it's a contractual obligation? Gotcha. Trained. It doesn't say Sorry. what kind of training. Excuse me. Yeah. Um, I would contact or I would get in touch with Jackie okay. for that and hopefully she can send you out something. Okay. I mean, I know she's not done done, but... <laughs> yeah, she's pretty good. Yes. Good. Okay, don't go on this grass. Let's see how it see the sticks and the string. Good. So have her focus on you. And then she'll start healing again. And pretending that you have a treat and guiding her, her to your eyes. And that way you don't have to use the leash as much. Good girl, up here. Good job. Good job, I know. Zoe, stop. Hi, Zoe. <laughs> Good job, Cosmo, there you go. Yeah. Cosmo, Cosmo, come on. <laughs> come on. Good job, big guy. You're going to have to hand me a couple more treats, son. <laughs> I'm going to swamp. They're both pretty good about that, too. The guy with the pouch is the most popular person, that's for sure. <laughs> yes. Oops. So don't, don't forget careful. to take your treat pouch with you, especially for the first couple weeks of returning back okay. home. Right, you can always wean off of things later, but especially at first, you want it to be really consistent. You want them to feel really rewarded and praised for continuing to focus and follow with you guys. No, too much. <laughs> Good, there you go. Oops, I'm sorry, I just stepped right on your paw. <laughs> you need okay. to stop walking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to keep her. Well, she stops walking and you keep walking. Here, well, if you want, I'll trade you and I'll hold her for a bit. Okay. And you can watch to see how I kind of do okay, it with yeah, her. Okay, yeah, because I'm, I'm obviously not doing very well here. It's okay, I'll take a couple of treats. Okay. Hey, girl. Come. Pay attention to this, Andrew, because we have to carry. We have to continue this at home. See how he walks her. Oh, I still have treats. <laughs> it's okay. okay. Kuma, come. Good girl. Come on. I know. Good. Yes. Good. Okay. And then let her redirect on her own. Good. Very good. There you go. Good girl. Here. I want her to focus on me instead of the treats, so that's why I just gesture up towards my eyes. Good girl. Here, he Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Oh, good girl. Very good. Yes. Good girl. Well, we put our harness on her. Should pull on the harness. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. 
All right, so just slight directional pressure. If she starts to go too far forward, a little bit of pressure back, good girl. And then as soon as she slows down, right, she goes back. If she drops too far back, a little bit of pressure little bit forward. Pressure. A lot of it, it <laughs> yeah. Uh, so a lot of it is just going to be good, um, good arm positioning, okay. right? Because if you have your arm nice and loose next to you, then it'll automatically get tight as she gets too far away, right? Okay. So like that, and you just keep walking, right? So it's nice and loose when she's close to you and um, she's, uh, yeah, it's nice and loose when she's close to you and you wanna to try to keep it that way as much as you can. Good girl. Good girl. She starts to go back, uh, she goes front too far. Good girl, up here, All right? So I'll do that a couple times, get her to slow down, refocus, and then I'll give her a treat too. Good girl. And that way she'll learn to kind of slow down on her own when she feels the leash pressure starting to build. Okay. Like right here. Good girl. Or she's gotten really good at paying attention to her peripheral vision now. So if she is next to you and you stop or you turn, she'll follow you too. Okay. Okay. So a big part of it is just you um, trying to keep things as consistently here as possible. Just kind of imagining okay. her in a box and just keeping her in that box. Oops. <laughs> I dropped it. It's right there. See it? <laughs> She's overall more excited for you guys than the treats too. And I think that'll yeah. hopefully go away over time and Here's the one I dropped. There you get go. better at um, get better at feeding her. Because right. usually what I'll do is just hold the treats here. And then that way I can oh, give her she some. She follows the treats. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she knows the word treats now. Good girl. We call them cookies at our house, but <laughs> she's learned a new language. Good girl. You want to try again? Yeah. I'll we'll take the remote again. for you. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. So try your best to just keep the the leash in your arm and everything as consistently in the same spot as possible. Okay. And then just walk with her. Okay. Come on. Good, there you go. Perfect. I'll take that too. There you go. Okay. You're good. Yeah. I'm not, I'm focusing on <laughs> so how many dogs do you good have girl. today? Uh, just these guys. Oh. And then, yeah, I think that's it. Kuma leaves tomorrow. Yeah. And... It's just going to be um, Cosmo and uh, Cooper. There you go. Good boy. There you go. Good boy. He's like, who do I go to? He always wants to say hello to all the, the little ones. He likes the kids. Come on, Cosmo. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Cosmo, sit. Good job. Good job. Go. Come on. <laughs> She's, She's like, like, look, I can all have to sit too. What do I get for that? They are quite the treat fiends. <laughs> like I said, it makes it it makes it pretty easy to get their attention and keep them focused. Mm -hmm. Right, right there. Good girl. Good yes. Girl. And what I would do is start counting maybe every like three to five times she focuses on you. Then give her a treat. Then give her a treat. Yeah. So that way it keeps you kind of consistent too without going too long, you know, and risk her checking out. But at the same time, not treating her every single time she checks in. <laughs> we're, we're kind of past that, that point now because she's pretty good about continuously doing it. She's just more distracted right now because of the tree pouch being on somebody else and having another person here. But if you're out with her by yourself, you should be just fine. Good job. <laughs> like my hand out, so I'm out of treat. <laughs> Plus, you're going to eat breakfast pretty soon. Yeah, we're going to have a late lunch here. We're going to have brunch. <laughs> Good boy. Oh, you're doing so well, Good job. I'm so proud of you. You've come so far in such a short period of time. <laughs> Feels like forever for me, but yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Imagine how I felt. And, and I had no idea what I was doing because I was spoiled by dogs that did, needed very little training in the past. Right. At least he's, like I said, he's pretty much normal normal now, quote unquote. So yeah. things should be a little bit easier no, I for love you him. guys. He's walking on the leash. Mm -hmm. So we can actually take him for a walk or yep. get him in and out of the store without having to pick him up and carry him. Now well, the rest of this day we're working on things like his stay and his recall, his potty training. I think okay. his potty training is going to be a lot easier at home anyways because of the backyard. Yeah. Whereas here sometimes I have to go in and out yeah. even though he's going to the potty pad to pee. So I know that he needs to go, but as soon as he gets out here, he gets distracted. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. We need to stop and get some pee-pee pads. We'll do that. Well, he's not coming back for a week, so Yeah, I we got time for that. Have to, but I gotta do that. And you might not need it, too, anyways. Like I said, if you're, if you're home and whatnot. I'm hoping one more pack will do the trick, but he is still a baby, so. Yeah. So I have to cut him some slack there. Good thing is, like, uh, consistency-wise, He's pretty much at 100% going towards the potty pads okay. to go to the bathroom. So just make sure that, you know, I would... Get him out of there. Get him out of there. <laughs> there you go. I would um, have it so the potty pads are, like, at least going towards the back door yes. or something like that. So that way you'll kind of notice him going him in that direction, there. make it a little bit easier and more smoother of a transition. Yeah, there's a spot on the kitchen floor where there's no carpeting. I can put one right there. There you go. Well, that's what I tried before, but then he would go back to his enclosure. <laughs> so he had two places, so now I have to do it in just the one. Got you. What I would do, too, is, uh, well, it depends, but I can, uh, I usually move the playpen. So that way he has his crate in there, he's in there with the playpen, and then the playpen has the potty pad near the e exit. Oh, okay. Right. But just think about whatever setup is going to be easiest for you guys so that way you can see when he starts to move towards there and right. just redirect him outside. Because okay. he can go potty outside. Oh, I know. I think We've he'll, seen him. He, yeah. he was about 50-50 by the sit. time he came. Sit. Come on. Sit. <laughs> sit. 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 Good girl. <laughs> You're not doing it. Can you sit down? Sit. <laughs> so usually... Mm -hmm. Um, there you go. So she's probably more used to the hand gesture. That, that hand gesture. Good girl. <laughs> Cosmo. Good oh, good listen, big guy. Yeah. Good boy. Cosmo. And then he'll come all the way back for a treat, too. Oh, he stopped. <laughs> He's like, I, I came most of the way. I'm adorable, though. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead and pause this. <laughs>